Right now, a CPS security guard is charged with felony sexual assault of a 15-year-old from the school where he worked. CBS 2's Tara Molina live from Farragut Career Academy in Little Village. And Tara, the 43-year-old faced a judge today. That's right, Joe. He faced a judge in bond court. We listened in and learned all of this started the victim's freshman year here. This man asked for her Snapchat and they started communicating there. Farragut Career Academy parents got this letter from the school last week, assuring parents safety is their top priority and informing them of a quote allegation that one of our non teaching staff members engaged inappropriately with a student going on to say the employee has been removed and an investigation is underway. That employee, 43-year-old Romel Campoverde. He was just in court facing felony criminal sexual assault charges. The judge granted a $100,000 bond with electronic monitoring. Prosecutors detailing the accusations against him. They say Campoverde asked for the 15-year-old girl's Snapchat information and the two started talking there, eventually seeing each other outside of school. He, quote, purchased Nike shoes for her, gave her $40 for her hair, and bought her alcohol and invited her to his home for after prom. Then, the end of last month, the two met again. Campa Verde brought a tequila mix drink and had the 15-year-old drink six of the cans. She was extremely intoxicated. He brought her to 31st Street Beach in his RV, removed her shorts, and according to prosecutors, despite her pushing him away and asking him to stop, sexually assaulted her. The 15 year old got out of his car and called a friend, then called to a school after school program employee. Investigators found her press on nails from bedding inside the RV and a blood stain. Chicago police deferred to the state's attorney's office on this. And as far as CPS goes, their response to us and our questions was that letter they say was shared with parents last week. You can read it in full in this story on our website right now. Reporting live in Little Village, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News. Tara, thank you.